Welcome to Soul Focus TV. My name is Caitlin and this is Snacks and Skates. Today we are going to be making zucchini wheels with some fresh vegetables that I have around the house. So let's roll with it. All right, so I have already washed all of my fruit and vegetables. You really wanna make sure that you're scrubbing them well. And I also put some recycled paper here so that I can put the scraps on here. My Nana always peels her potatoes on newspaper, so um, I've learned that from her. So what we are going to be making is a zucchini base, but everything that you put inside is completely up to you. Um, so let me just show you what we are going to do today. Okay, so like I said, you can put anything in the zucchini wheels that you would like, but I have chosen mini cucumbers, carrots, avocado, mango, and um, the zucchini is gonna be our base. I also have some plain hummus over here that we're gonna use to kind of put everything together. All right, so here, uh, first we'll start with the base, the zucchini. We are going to chop the ends off, and we are going to be making the strips. So I wanna get rid of the first one, because it's all skin. And then from there, you get your strips. This is just a regular peeler that you can use. And we're gonna put a couple of them together, so if they break like this, it's not a big deal. So I will finish that later and I'll show you how to cut the rest of the vegetables. So I'll cut off the tips of the carrot and peel them. So with the fruit and vegetables, we want to make like matchstick size. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna cut this into threes. And then we're gonna cut them in half. And again. And you want to, like I said, make match sticks. So what that looks like is like that. So we'll do that with the carrots later. And we'll move on to the mini cucumbers. These, since they're so small, we're just gonna cut this in half and do the same thing like we did with the carrots. I'll show you a little bit more with this one. You really wanna be careful with your fingers. Since they are so tiny, you just really wanna watch. And then that's what that will look like. Okay, so the avocado that I bought um, seemed to be the ripest one that they had at the store, but it's not ready yet. So we're not gonna use that today. Um, we'll set it aside for another day. But let's move on to the mango. So to cut a mango, there is the large pit on the inside, so you wanna cut before it on this side. Mangoes do have a high concentration in um, sugar, but they are really, really awesome fruits. There's a lot of other great health benefits. So don't, don't be too put off by mangoes. All right. 
So typically what I would do is I would score it as like a checkered board and then scoop it out that way. But we want to have it kind of the same shape that we have the carrots and the cucumbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half. That way. That way I can peel it properly. Always be careful with your hands. You don't necessarily want to be cutting towards yourself. So let's flip this. then I'll finish cutting the rest of the fruit and vegetables and we'll come back to you, okay? Okay, so I finished cutting everything. Um, I may have had a couple snacks in between. This is an awesome recipe because you get to pick while you cut. Um, so everything's all set up here. So we have our different vegetables up here and we have our zucchini here and our hummus. Okay, so take your zucchini slice and we're going to spread some of the hummus across there. And you don't need this whole thing. It actually, I think, is making it a little bit more difficult, but I thought it would give a more even spread. And then you'll just add in your different veggies and fruit, whatever you decide to put in it. So I saw a couple different ways to do this with either crab meat, um, some people use cream cheese, um, you know, there's a lot of different options. I went with the hummus, so it was a little bit lower in fat and it was dairy free as well. So this is vegan and vegetarian and gluten-free and all that. So, um, like I said, if you wanted to add crab meat or, you know, the cream cheese, go for that as well. Um, I've also seen people add sriracha in their mix, which would be really tasty, but I don't have any sriracha, so. Um, and then you just roll them up like this. And then what I do is I just put a toothpick in, but you don't have to add that. Um, I just think it looks a little bit nicer. So, and even if you wanted to double up on the zucchini strips so that it's a little bit sturdier, you can maybe put a little bit more of a filling in there, you could do that as well. Oh, I forgot to put the, hold on, let me, <laughs> let me put the hummus. This is great because it helps bind everything together. All right, let's start that over. So we'll roll that, take that. And now I'm gonna finish rolling these. Okay, here they are. That's how they've all come out. So I'm gonna stack on this with my family. We're gonna go sit out on the porch for a little bit and then I'm gonna go skating. Please comment and let me know what kind of veggies or anything that you would put in these kinds of roll-ups and what you think of them. Thanks, we'll see you next week.